Ah, uh, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another glorious session of your prayers said aloud in the privacy of your own home. You creating your own walk with the Holy Spirit that, that's within you. We are, every person on this planet is both spiritual and physically there. If we want to join and learn about our spiritual being we and, and connect with the Holy Spirit, we can do it. But it just takes prayer, <clears throat> clearing your mind, loving God, loving all life, getting rid of the fears of the physical body. Because we're we're not just physical, we're we're spiritual. And God left the Holy Spirit behind in each of us. So we'll begin with my prayer. Ah, beloved God, Holy Spirit, I thank you for this wonderful method of prayer of each of us being able to walk hand in hand with you, O oh God. Each of us learning and connecting with our spiritual being, each of us connecting through our hearts with the Holy Spirit. I thank you, thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, and Virginia Ellen, who wrote a book called Sacred Heart Yoga. So anybody can practice this ancient method of prayer any way they want, any time they want. I thank all the generations. Amen. <clears throat> now, if you'll repeat after me, we'll say the Sacred Heart Yoga morning prayer. Beloved God, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my spirit, and I allow myself to be purified of fears. as I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and your love, O oh God. And I give thanks for these blessings, these moments I can share, with my mind, my body, my spirit, and my heart. In oneness with your Holy Spirit and you, O oh God. And so it is, amen. Amen. Now we're going to try to clear our physical bodies, our minds of fear. Fear will block our ability to love, will keep us really, really, really locked into this physical body instead of reaching out to our own spirituality, our own spirit and the Holy Spirit that's always within us. So here we do this with an arm motion. Take our right arm up to the 12 o'clock position up above our heads. Let it go <clears throat> over to the three o'clock position, the right side of our bodies, our arms like the arm of a clock. Goes to our right knee, left knee, nine o'clock position, and then back up to the 12 o'clock position above our heads. 
So here, if you'll, our prayers, well, if you'll repeat after me, God, Holy Spirit, I clear my heart and my spirit and my body and my mind of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your love, your light, O oh God. Om. Now, the rest of the prayers, you'll have, you'll need to, you'll want to finish with your own heartfelt concerns. Those first two prayers are, are just the beginning prayer. Your heartfelt concerns, pouring them out to the Holy Spirit within, that's pouring them out directly to God. And it's connecting through your heart to your own spirit, spiritual being. Some people call it soul. And then connecting to the Holy Spirit within. So you, I'll say, begin the prayer. You finish. You repeat what I say, and then finish it with your own heartfelt concerns. We'll tone at the end, saying the word Om. And, uh, and we'll do that together, and then we'll move on to the next posture <clears throat> and the next prayer. So here, uh, and I'll say our prayers begin with from here on out, and that means repeat and then and, and finish it with your prayers. And aloud is really important that you say it aloud in the privacy of your own home. So here we take our right hands over our hearts and our prayers begin with God, how may I serve you this day? Om. Now we stand up. We stand straight and tall, put our arms at our sides, our palms forward. And here our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you this day is to Om. Now, we're going to sing the word Amen aloud three times. Whatever tune feels right to you, whatever pitch is right for you, this is the way an oath was sealed in Aramaic. 
between two people or between a person and God. So just by saying the word Amen three times, or here we're going to sing it aloud to really solidify our oath to God as to what we'll do this day. Amen. Now we're going to sit back down on the mats, lay down on our backs. We get into what's called resting position which is our arms at our sides, our legs outstretched. We'll go back into resting position many times in between the sets. So here we begin by pulling our right foot. I mean, our right, hang on just a second. Microphone, sit down. Here we begin by pulling our right knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And our prayers begin with God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we take our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee fall down to the mat. Our right arm gets extended straight above our heads, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit within me, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we take our right foot in our right hand, holding it down near our pelvis. Our left arm gets extended straight above our heads down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for all. Oh. Now we point our right foot up towards the heavens, holding it with our right hand. Left arm still above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for
Um. Now we let our right leg fall out to the right side of our bodies. Our arms get extended straight out to the sides, down to the mat. We, and here our prayers, we open our pelvis as wide as we can, leg extended out straight. Here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Um. <clears throat> now we turn our heads to the right keeping our right leg extended straight. We point it up towards the heavens and then over to the left side of our bodies, trying to keep our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting position and we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit within, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. <clears throat> now we take our left foot and our right hand, pull it over to our right thigh, let our left knee fall down to the mat. Our left arm gets extended straight up above our head, stretched out down to the mat, and our prayers begin with, God, my true and only mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we 
take our left foot in our left hand, our right arm gets extended straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. We hold our left foot near our pelvis and our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, <clears throat> I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we point our left foot up towards the heavens and here our prayers begin with God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for all. Oh. Now we let our left foot fall out to the left side of our bodies down to the mat. Our, we open our pelvis as wide as we can, leg ex, left leg extended straight. Our arms fall straight out to the sides from our chest, down to the mat, palms up. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true and only mother, I love you, and I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the left, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat our left leg straight, we point it up towards the heavens and over to the right side of our bodies down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting position. Here for a second time, we're going to try to release our fears this time, you know, because they are detrimental to being spiritual, being one with God, being one with the Holy Spirit, our bodies being one with our own spirits. 
I mean, that's what spirituality is. Knowing that we're a spirit as well as a body. Loving our spirits, loving the spirit world, because that's all it is, is pure love. So we must get rid of our fears to be able to love. Here we're going to, for a second time, try to get rid of our fears by surrendering them to the love of the Holy Spirit that's within us at all times. God's love through the Holy Spirit he left within us. So here we lean forward on our elbows, try to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, Holy Spirit, I surrender my fears into your love of Um. Now, <laughs> we take and point our left hand up towards the heavens, let it fall over to the right side of our bodies. Take our left hand halfway between our, our, no, with our left hand towards the heavens over to the right side of our bodies. Take our right hand halfway between our left elbow and left, el left shoulder. And here our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit within in service to your love, I choose to Um. Now we reach for the heavens with our right hand, let it fall over to the left side of our bodies. Take our left hand halfway between our right shoulder, right elbow, extend it over farther, and here our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit, within, in service to your love, I can. Um. Now we go back to resting position and we pull both feet up to our pelvis and let our knees fall out to the outside down to the mat. This forms a triangle below our bodies and we, we consider these triangles that we form with our hands, our arms, our legs. 
as tabernacles, a house of God. Now we form a second tabernacle with our arms and hands by putting our hands in prayer position over our hearts, extending them up two-thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this tabernacle of our hearts, we find God's beautiful chalice brimming over with any gift, anything we could ever desire, want, or need that is to be used in service to the love of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Spirit's love to all humanity or God's love to all humanity. We get, we're get we given gifts to help spread God's love. So here our prayers begin with God, Holy Spirit within, I drink from your chalice your gifts to me of Om. <clears throat> now we keep our hands in prayer position. We take them right to the tops of our heads, down to the mat. And we let our, our elbows fall out to the sides, down to the mat. This forms a tabernacle over our, our heads and our entire bodies. And here our prayers begin with God, Holy Spirit within, I truly thank you for healing my body, my mind, my heart, and my soul. Um. Now we're going to begin the anointing series, which is a series of four different prayers. We keep our hands in prayer position during all four positions. And then we repeat the prayers a second time because they are so awfully important. What we're doing is we're acknowledging that our gifts, these really, really important things that God's given us come from God, come from the Holy Spirit. And they're always there for us to use and use in service to serving God's, the Holy Spirit's love, sharing it with all humanity. That's our, our goal. That's our, our calling is to share the Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit's love with all of humanity. So here we take our hands in prayer position, thumbs up to our foreheads, and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Om. Now our thumbs go down to our lips. And our prayers begin with, God, I bless, and I'll only use them in serving and sharing your love with all humanity. 
your gifts given to me of Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position and our prayers begin with God, Holy Spirit within. I truly thank you for your gifts to me of. Um. Now we point our fingers down into our abdomens and we do a motion this time with our hands. We extend our arms out straight right above our pelvis at the three o'clock position, like our arms in the arms of a clock. And we go counterclockwise with our hands up towards the heavens, arms straight, and that 12 o'clock position, and then down above our heads, down to the nine o'clock position, down to the mat. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my heart, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um. Now we start the repeat those same four prayers a second time. We take our thumbs to our foreheads, and our prayers begin with God. I anoint your gifts to me of oh. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with. God, I bless and I will only use them sharing your love with all humanity, your gifts to me of Um. Now 
Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position. And here our prayers begin with God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um. Now we point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend them out to the 3 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock positions. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my heart, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um. Now we go back to resting position. We cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist, over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for always protecting me, for keeping me safe, Um. Now we roll over on our sides and push ourselves back up into sitting position using our arms and our hands. Here we extend our right leg straight out in front of us. Our left foot goes across our right knee. We hold our left knee up near our chest with our right arm. We twist our heads, our shoulders, our backs to the left. The left arm behind our backs for support. And here our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit within, in sharing your love with all humanity, I desire to Um. Now 
we take our left foot straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes across our left knee. We turn our, we hold our right knee with our left arm. We take our right arm behind our backs for support. Twist our heads, our shoulders, our backs to the right. And here our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit within, in sharing your love with all humanity, I will Now we get up on our knees. Put our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit within, I thank you for Om. Now we form a tabernacle with our hands by putting the tips of our thumbs together, the tips of our first fingers together, and we put it down on the mat. And we'll lean over and put our foreheads in it, in child's pose. And here we just take a moment to feel the truth of the Holy Spirit within us and the Holy Spirit and God's love all around us throughout the whole world. Om. Um. 
Now we go back to sitting position. We extend our right leg straight out to the right side of our bodies. Our left foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, Holy Spirit within, in serving your love to all humanity, I will become Om. Now we take our left leg out to the left side. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with God, Holy Spirit within in sharing your love with all humanity, I am Om. Now we go back to sitting position. Sitting up straight and tall. We put our hands on our knees, palms up, thumbs touching our middle two fingers. This forms a tabernacle in each hand. Sitting up straight and tall, we bow forward at our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, I bow to you, God, and the Holy Spirit within for healing my body, my mind, my heart, and my soul. Um. Now we sit back up straight and tall and we bow forward a second time at our pelvis, keeping our back straight. And here our prayers begin with, I bow to you, O oh God, my Holy Spirit within, my soul, and to the your sharing your love to all humanity.
Now we sit up straight and tall a third time and we feel where we're grounded down to the mat. Our pelvis is grounded on the left side and right side of our pelvis. On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's wonderful white light entering our bodies. That's God's pure love is white light. Enters our legs all the way to the tips of our toes. God's white light enters our abdomens and our spines, and it enters up, goes up our spines, up to our hearts, filling our hearts with God's white light of love. Fills our lungs, our arms to the tips of our fingers. God's white light of love fills our throats and our minds, and it goes out the tops of our heads. This white light is like a giant beacon that's ever getting wider and wider, expanding in all directions. And it wraps around the whole world and rains down God's love on every single living creature there is. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis, God's blue light of truth, the Holy Spirit's truth. It enters our legs and fills our legs all the way to the tips of our toes. It fills our abdomens and our backbones just solid with truth. Gives us integrity, strength. God's blue light of truth fills our hearts to bursting with with. with knowledge and truth that fills our lungs. It fills our arms all the way to the tips of our fingers. It fills our throats. God's blue light of truth fills our minds. Then it goes out, God's blue light goes out the tops of our heads and like an ever-expanding wider and wider beacon of light that lights up and surrounds the whole earth. And God's blue light of truth rains down on every single living creature there is for them to accept if they so choose. Now we can step up into the light above our heads, stay as long as we want, ask anything we want. But the one question we should always ask before leaving is, God, what do I need to know this day? <laughs>